I'm going to return back to the line that we saw earlier. I'm going to select it with the selection tool and then I'm going to hold down the space bar and pan so I can see the remaining right edge of the artboard. I'll go back to my pencil tool and then this time I'm going to hover my cursor along the edge. And if I wish to create a straight line, then you can do. You hold down the Alt or the Option key and then click and hold down the left mouse button and drag. And when you keep the left mouse button held down, as you should always do with the pencil tool, notice that you're just essentially pulling along a straight line wherever you need it to go from and to. Now, if I let go just here, let go of the mouse, then let go of the Alt or the Option key, you get a straight line. But the really handy thing is that you can then, if I show you again under pencil options, edit selected paths is one of the reasons that makes this tool so incredibly useful. I'll click OK, leaving it turned on. Now I can take my pencil tool, hover over the existing selected path, and then click and hold down the mouse and drag away from where I start and I can reshape the path. But what you must do is return back to a part of the existing path to edit it and let go of the mouse and it reshapes it. Again, I can hover over here, click and hold down the mouse, drag up and down away from the path, but you must return back to the path once you're done. If you don't, if I go back to this portion here, click and hold down the mouse and drag, but finish here, you lose the rest of the path. Again, you could always go up to the edit menu and choose undo pencil and you can have another go but that's how you can create straight lines with a pencil tool and edit your path as well.